what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day i know i'm late at posting a video this week but i had a lot going on but i'm back with another v-day set this has to be one of my favorite ones i've done this year i think it came out so cute and like really girly and everything like that so i'm gonna be using um the new to be glam um pink poly gel kit called all about you i believe that's what it's called um and i'm gonna be making my own glitter mix kind of like i did in one of my previous videos recently kind of with the same glitter set except it's gonna be like a different type of glitter mix um so i'm using that same um like little set of like heart glitter mixes so what i'm doing is i'm taking a scoop of each color of purple pink and white to start and then kind of just mixing it around this is going to be like the base glitter for the glitter mix that i'm doing and i didn't realize you can make a lot of really cute glitter mixes with this valentine's day set that i have like it really came out cute this one i think i like this one better than the last one so i'm going to use these little um pink like candy hearts they're outlined in hot pink and white on the inside so i'm going to throw those in there i think they're really cute and I'm also going to add some lips to this one. So I'm going to do some hot pink lips and the things kept closing on me so I had to open them. And I'm also going to use some of the little white lips and I'm going to mix that together to see what we're looking like. And so far it's turning out really, really cute. But I did want to add just like a little more to the glitter mix because why not? <laughs> so I'm going to add the light pink lips too. I wanted it to kind of be like a pink white and purple glitter mix so that was kind of like the vibe i was going for so i'm just mixing this together i am going to be adding a little more base glitter after this um just because there's like a lot of femo shapes so you kind of have to do that to get like a really good mixture um and i'm also going to add some of these little um purple fema hearts the only thing that i hate about the lip and heart femo shapes like the purple ones is that they're like kind of really thick so I don't recommend using a lot of them um, on your nails, just like maybe a couple of pieces here and there. Um, just kind of like split it up between your nails. Um, I'm just going to leave it like in this little dish um, so I could kind of just pick out the pieces that I want. Um, it's kind of like easier that way rather than mixing it with like acrylic or gel or something like that. Because then you get like a big clump of it, but that's just my like opinion. Um, so I'm adding a couple more scoops of each color of the base glitters um, so that I have like an even mixture and I'm just going to like go ahead and stir that up really quick and then like you can really see like the glitter mix now it's really all came together once I added a little more base glitter and it came out super cute so this is what it's looking like. okay so let's get into the design i've already prepped my nails off camera and i did apply my dehydrator and primer um, i do have a little bit of pink acrylic on my nails so that i can file this set down and change them so i'm going in with a base gel i'm using the 2b glam base gel just over like my nail bed area so that the poly gel has something to grip onto this is going to be like a hybrid set it's mainly poly gel but i'm going to be encapsulating with clear acrylic um, so I'm applying base gel to this entire nail and I'm going to be applying my glitters into this gel and curing in place. And this is why I like doing it this way um, with glitter mixes with a lot of Fimo shapes in them like this. Um, I rather just kind of like pick them up individually and place them on the nail how I want to because like I said if you mix it with gel or acrylic you might get like too big of a clump. Um, and it might just look like too much. I wanted more of like a scattered look of the glitters where you could still see like clear in between if that makes sense. Um, I didn't want like to be like a big clump of all the glitters and everything. Plus, like I said, these Fimo shapes are thicker. So you want to spread them out so that you can easily encapsulate them afterwards. Um, so yeah, I might not use like all the pieces that I put in there. But I definitely do end up using all the pieces um, by the time I do the other nails. So you don't have to like put all of the pieces on each nail because that would be like a bit much 
it would be like super thick so I kind of like spread it out between the two nails that I did the glitter on and it worked out pretty good so I'm picking up like some of the like base glitter and kind of like you know patting it in between the um femo shapes just because i think it gives like a really cute look with like the tiny hearts and the bigger hearts and i do add in a little bit more base gel if i need to like um stick the glitters on because sometimes um they won't stick that good and i'm gonna go ahead and cure that nail And on this nail, I'm going to be doing the same thing, except I'm just using the base glitter and then the white and pink lips since I wasn't able to fit the white lips um, on the other nail. So I'm going to put them on this nail. So now I'm going to create a nail bed with this glittery shade, which is actually from To Be Glam as well. It's called BU. I can't really remember which poly gel kit this one is from at the moment, but I will have all the kits and everything linked down below in the description box, along with the glitter mixes and everything that I use, um, which are linked in my Amazon store. And I do have a discount code for To Be Glam. Um, so yeah, I wanted to use this color for the nail bed because I thought it would be different and pretty. So I'm creating kind of like a V-shaped nail bed. So all you really need is a small bead of the poly gel. And then what I do is kind of just pat it around the cuticle area and then start taking in the sides to form like a V-shape with the poly gel, which is really easy. This poly gel is super easy to work with. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I do just take in the sides and then when I'm satisfied how it looks I just cure it in place You could take a hand file and make it like a little neater if you need to after you cure it But I was fine with it the way it was because I was kind of gonna be covering it up anyway um, So yeah, I wasn't really like that pressed about it And now I'm going to be taking that shade Memory from the 2B Glam All About You um, poly gel kit. It's like a very light purple shade. I've been dying to use this color. I've seen other people use this color in like acrylic, but they sent it in poly gel and I've been wanting to do a set with this type of color. So I felt like this would be the perfect set since I had like that purple and pink type of theme in my mind. Um, so since this is a French nail, um, you want to apply the color just to the tip of the nail and like work it up the sides of the nail bed that you created and then basically just pat the rest of the poly gel in place. This poly gel is a little bit stiffer than the glitter one so I use a little bit of base gel. It softens it and makes it a little easier to apply and you want to make sure that if you get any poly gel on the nail bed portion that you just kind of like push it out of the way.
On this nail, I'm going to be applying that BU shade to the tip of the nail. I'm doing an ombre on this nail, so this is going to be the bottom color for the ombre. So I just wanted a very sheer glitter look on the tip of the nail, so I'm only applying a very little amount of it just to kind of share it out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure that before I go in with the top color. And for the top color, I'm going to be using that shade Memory again. So I'm applying a small bead of that and fading it into the tip. But as you can see, I didn't really add enough. Um, so I'm going to kind of just blend this layer into the tip a little bit, cure that, and then go in with a little bit more because I kind of misjudged how much I needed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that after I cure this really quick. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be encapsulating with clear acrylic just because it's like a little bit faster. So on the nails with the Fimo shapes, you could probably already guess I had to use a little bit more acrylic because like I mentioned, these um, lip ones and the purple heart ones are a lot thicker than the other Fimo shapes that I had in there. So they need quite a bit of acrylic to cover them up. Um, so yeah, I'm doing my three bead usual method that I normally do, but then I'm adding in acrylic where I need it, like where I see some of the Fimo shapes poking out. So I usually start at the free edge of the nail and build up the free edge of the nail with the clear acrylic. I'm using Mia Secret Clear, by the way. Um, and then the second bead, I use that to start building my apex. Um, and then the third bead, I use that to build my apex also. So I focus the acrylic usually where I put it. As you can see, I'm going in with a little bit more at the tip because that um, lip Fimo shape wasn't really encapsulated that well. You want to make sure they're encapsulated really good so that you don't file them off. The nails might look like a little bit lumpier in some areas um, where I had to add in a little acrylic for the certain Fimo shapes. But um, I'm going to go ahead and like file that later on and even them out. It just had to be done to like cover them if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I usually do work with the acrylic um, until it just about dries. So I kind of like pat the sides of the nail and the tip of the nail to help keep the shape of the nail. And as you can see, I still had to go in with more acrylic because that shape was just like really thick. It wasn't getting covered. Sometimes I would rather just kind of like glue those on the outside of my nail because it's kind of a pain to encapsulate them sometimes but it can be done it just takes a little longer than just like regular glitters um, and on the other two nails i'm just going to do my regular um, method for some reason i don't know what i did but the ring finger came out super thin so i'm actually gonna um, fill that in with some gel like after i'm done filing and everything like that um, i was kind of like in a rush or whatever so yeah, I don't know why it came out like that, but I fixed it later on.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start filing my nails. So I'm using my Melody Susie um, e-file, the MR5 nail drill with the medium grit ceramic drill bit. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm debulking the nails. The ones with the Fimo shapes, as you can see, they were like a little bit lumpier in certain areas where I had to add more acrylic. So I'm basically just smoothing over the nail to even them out and fix the shape up and they turned out really cute they weren't like too thick or anything like that um it was just like kind of weird looking at first um after applying the acrylic because like i said certain areas of the little femo shapes would kind of be popping out um but yeah they did turn out really cute so i usually start around the cuticle and then smooth over the nail i file around the cuticle to seal it um, and along the side walls and underneath the nail i also file the sides of the nail to um, keep the shape it just helps um, so you don't have the extra work with the hand file afterwards To shape up the nails, I'm going to use my 100-180 grit hand file. So for this one, I'm doing kind of like a long coffin shape. I wanted more of a narrow shape for these. Um, so what I'm doing is taking the bulk off of the sides as usual. So I'm holding my file straight and filing on each side, kind of alternating sides. And then to get the coffin look, you want to hold your file at an angle and file in towards the tip of the nail. I actually did take the shape down a little bit more off camera because I wanted them to be a little more narrow so I did make them slightly more narrow at the tip off camera but I just did that basically by just filing in towards the tip like I just said 
And to do the free edge, just hold the file at an angle and file straight across or up and down. And after I do that, I will buff out the scratches and smooth out the rough edges with a buffer. Moving on to the nail art, I'm going to start by doing the little heart design on this French nail. So I'm going to be drawing some hearts and like little swirls. I'm using this color from Nail Reserve LA called Melrose District. It's like a pinky purple shade. I really love this color and I feel like it complemented this set really well. So I'm basically just making little heart shapes and swirls to fill up the entire tip of the nail. Um, I just realized that I am not the best at drawing like hearts, but it did turn out cute in the end. They're not really supposed to look like super neat or anything. They're kind of supposed to look like, you know, just hearts, not like anything fancy. Um, but yeah, I realized like, I don't know, maybe because I was like tired. <laughs> it was kind of like hard to draw them for some reason. I think maybe because my brush was acting up. It's like kind of like curved off to the side and I couldn't find a better one. But yeah, it is what it is. It came out cute anyway. So I'm gonna do this and go ahead and cure. To finish up, I'm going to add some bling with McCart Rhinestone Gel um, to finish up the set. On my other hand, I actually did um, an X's and O's on the tip of the French nail, which came out really cute as well. It's super easy to just draw like an X and an O, um, so I didn't show that part. And yes, I know my nail is still like not grown back, but it's actually starting to grow back. It's like almost halfway there. so. Hopefully I'll have a nail on it soon. It's so annoying not being able to put a nail on it, but I'd rather wait till it grows out before I like add a nail on there because I don't want it like to turn green or anything because it's not like fully grown out. 
um, but yeah we are getting there and I won't be putting any more nail tips on any damaged nails from now on um, because that's how this happened in the first place but yeah that's pretty much all I do I kind of like keep switching through the bling like uh, what I like the best so you might see me taking some things off here and there but that's all I really do just like use the gel to cure everything and then I go ahead and top coat with 2B Glam top gel make sure you top coat under the glassy nails so that they look more clear and that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you leave and follow me on instagram and tiktok if you're not already i'll see you guys in my next one bye love you guys